Hillary Duff talks Lizzie McGuire. Even though the Lizzie McGuire revival was officially scrapped at Disney Plus in 2020, on a recent appearance on Watch What Happens, Duff said she is optimistic about a potential reboot. When asked if she would still consider doing Lizzie McGuire, Duff said yes, but if quoted, lived up to her vision. She emphatically said of course. Though Duff was hesitant to say what the main sticking point was in getting Lizzie McGuire off the ground, she mentioned the creative differences between Disney Plus execs and herself at the time of development. Ariana Grande spends $15 million to buy beauty brand. Ariana Grande has reached a deal to buy assets tied to her REM beauty brand. The agreement is between Grande and Forma and includes all physical assets and existing inventory of REM. Forma previously handled product development, manufacturing and marketing for Grande's brand. Forma did not say it would end its licensing agreement with REM. After announcing earlier this month it had filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, though it was reported the company had agreed beforehand to part ways with Grande's brand. Grande licensed her name, image and likeness to Forma in December 2020. Despite partnerships in recent years with other celebrities like Jeffree Star and James Charles, Forma routinely failed to make internal revenue estimates. The agreement between Grande and Forma will need to be approved by the U.S. Bankruptcy Court. Ashton Kutcher apologizes to Harry Styles. In a recent interview, Ashton Kutcher shared the time he and wife actress Mila Kunis unknowingly met the As It Was singer, Harry Styles, for the first time at a huge celebrity singer friend's karaoke party. She was throwing a karaoke party. She gets up and gives this, like, out of this world, bananas, performance, and I'm like, this is so unfair. Then this other kid gets up and he does this ABBA song. I'm like, oh my god, this is bananas. So the kid gets off stage, and Mila and I go up to him and we're like, man, I gotta tell you something, you're a ringer. You're really good. He was like, thank you, I really appreciate that. Later at the party, the couple ecstatically praised the performance talking to a friend. And that's when it gets awkward. They're like, it's Harry Styles. And I'm like, who's that? After the friend clued him in, Kuchar said he felt like a jerk. He's a professional singer and we're trying to tell him he's a good singer, he laughed. And I feel so dumb, so I just really want to say I'm sorry Harry Styles, but you're really good at karaoke. Seriously. Like, really good. Beyonce announces Renaissance World Tour. Beyonce announced her highly anticipated tour for her seventh studio album Renaissance, kicking off Black History Month. Her album, which was released in July, is an ode to black queer culture, with disco anthems, soulful ballads, and sexy lyrics. Beyonce's world tour starts in May and ends in September with stops in Nashville, Chicago, New York, Miami, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, and more. Tickets go on sale February 6th, with an exclusive pre-sale to Beehive members. Who is Bianca Sensory? Less than a year after Kim Kardashian and Kanye West were declared legally single in March 2022, Kanye has spiritually remarried a Yeezy employee. His alleged new wife's name is Bianca Sensory, and according to TMZ, West and Sensory had a private wedding-like ceremony on January 13th. West also released a song about his new girl entitled, Sensory Overload. Since Sensory and West have only been cited together very recently, here are a few things about Bianca and her association to Kanye. Sensory is Australian and she's believed to be around 27. Her position at Yeezy is listed as head of architecture and started there in November 2020. She's been a brunette in the past, but recently went blonde and short in new photos with Kanye. Sensory spoke about her upbringing in Australia in a November 2021 interview with Hype Beast that has since been taken down. Sensory was asked how she got into architecture. I was born and raised in Melbourne, Australia, she said. As a child I was consistently drawn to creative endeavors, mostly artistic. I always wanted to be a sculptor and to me, architecture is the union of art and pragmatics. It is the grandest artistic gesture that we can place onto the earth. 
I was drawn to it, purely, as a shift in artistic scale. As a child, I spent a lot of time with my aunt who would consistently expose me to an array of art, film, and architecture, she continued of what fueled her interest in the craft. She really drove my love for design and instilled in me an eye for aesthetics that I was able to nurture into adulthood. TMZ reported that Sensory and West were seen at the Waldorf Astoria Beverly Hills, dining, on January 9, 2023. On January 13, when it was reported of their spiritual marriage, the outlet added that while Kanye and Sensory weren't seen or photographed together side by side, she had been at some Kanye-adjacent events, including a Balenciaga show in May. West was seen wearing a gold ring to symbolize his commitment to her. Euphoria star Chloe Cherry charged with retail theft. Euphoria star Chloe Cherry is in trouble with the law after allegedly getting caught stealing a blouse from a local store in her hometown of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. She was charged with misdemeanor retail theft in January. According to the criminal complaint, Chloe entered the building, character shopping complex on December 27 and took a $28 blouse into a dressing room. She then held onto the blouse and left without paying. She paid for other items using a credit card, but not the top. Cops say Chloe admitted to taking the top, giving it back to an officer. Chloe's rep, though, shares a different version, stating, in December, there was confusion over a blouse that wasn't properly charged to my client's credit card. In no way did she admit to taking the blouse, since that was not the case. Cherry is known for her role as Faye on HBO's Euphoria but has modeled and worked in adult films as well. Olivia Dunn's reason behind her TikTok ban that left fans ready to cry. LSU superstar Olivia Dunn scared fans after her TikTok account mysteriously disappeared. The college gymnast, who is 20, is one of the most followed athletes on social media in the United States. Access to her TikTok page suddenly vanished, with a message saying the user was banned. Fans were puzzled taking to social media to ask where the page had gone. The page reappeared shortly afterward with her most recent gym videos featuring a new tag reading, the actions in this video are performed by professionals or supervised by professionals. Do not attempt. Dunn took the comment section stating, it's a glitch. I don't know what's wrong with my account right now. News that she hadn't left permanently was met with much relief from her fans. One wrote, Thank the Lord you're back, I was going to cry. Dunn has over 12 million followers between Instagram and TikTok. Her social media fame made her a millionaire at 18, with her value reported to be around $3.2 million as of 2023. Vanessa Hudgens is engaged. Vanessa Hudgens and her Major League Baseball player boyfriend, Cole Tucker, are gonna get married. It's rumored that the couple got engaged sometime at the end of 2022. The high school musical star and her baseball player Bo have been dating since 2020 and have been practically attached at the hip since. Vanessa's been seen at a bunch of Cole's games over the last couple of years, and in Cole's offseason, he spent most of his free time with Hudgens. Iggy Azalea shares her OnlyFans secrets. Iggy Azalea is the latest celebrity to join OnlyFans. But the Aussie rapper's account is a little different. It's a year-long, collaborative multimedia project called Hotter Than Hell that will feature music, photography, video, art, and content from her upcoming fourth studio album. It ends with a coffee table book to be released in December 2023. Iggy's OnlyFans is $25 a month. Tips are a way its creators can generate more money with the platform taking a 20% cut of its creators' revenues. Jake Paul fighting in Saudi Arabia. Jake Paul will box Tommy Fury on February 26 in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Paul, the YouTube star turned boxer, and Fury's boxing event will partner with Top Rank and broadcast digitally in the United States on ESPN Plus pay-per-view. The fight will be contested at 185 pounds and will be eight rounds. An official announcement on the card is expected later. The moment of truth has finally arrived, Paul said in a statement. On February 26, 
I will get in the ring with a real boxer, an 8-0 fighter from a story fighting family and show the world the truth about who Jake Paul, the boxer, really is. Jake Paul is 6-0 as a pro boxer with 4 knockouts. Jenna Ortega is absolutely devastated. Jenna Ortega is mourning the original Wednesday Adams, Lisa Loring. Ortega shared her first statement on the death of the OG. Absolutely devastated, Ortega wrote in an Instagram story. Ortega recently had her breakout as the titular character in Netflix's Wednesday series, but Loring was the first to portray the brooding character in the original 60s show. Thank you for everything, Ortega added, with a photo of Loring as Wednesday. Loring died of a stroke at 64 years old on January 28, the Adams Family sitcom ran for two seasons from 1964 to 1965. Jessica Simpson's Secret Affair with Mega Movie Star Jessica Simpson revealed she had an entanglement with a mega star that made her, quote, feel like a call girl. She shares intimate details of her past in her Amazon essay entitled Movie Star, They Always Say They're Single. The singer was married to ex-husband Nick Lachey between 2002 and 2006 after an on and off romance. Simpson initially met the mystery movie star, who was in a relationship, right before marrying Lachey in 2002, and later reconnected with him after her divorce. Regarding her fling, Simpson stated, quote, Yes, there was something sexy and enticing about all this, but there was also something demeaning about it. I felt like a call girl. Simpson noted in her essay that it felt like the movie star was trying to hide her from his chick. She continued, quote, I didn't care if he was my teenage fantasy come to life, this was not a choice that same girl, my younger self, would be proud of. Austin Butler and Kaya Gerber's Golden Globes make out sesh. Austin Butler and Kaya Gerber were spotted locking lips backstage at the 2023 Golden Globes after the Elvis star won an award. A French journalist shared a video on his IG stories of Gerber proudly wrapping her arms around Butler as she kissed her man. The actor passionately kissed his girlfriend back while tightly wrapping his arms around her waist. After their smooch session, the couple was seen with big smiles, smiling from ear to ear. Kelly Clarkson has a stalker. Singer Kelly Clarkson has left her Los Angeles home temporarily and hired more security to keep her family safe from a dangerous stalker. The entertainer and her children left the Toluca Lake mansion they live in, with the LAPD doing regular checks, plus additional security patrolling the grounds, according to an insider. The stalker has shown up at Clarkson's home 18 times, leaving weird and unwanted gifts at times. Rapper Lotto's Panty Problems Rapper Lotto tried to sell a pair of her underwear on eBay. A keen Twitter user called her out for wearing the same pair of underwear twice. The auction, which was held on eBay, received feverish attention from fans and peaked at almost $100,000 before it was taken down. eBay confirmed it took the listing down and said used underwear sales are prohibited. Taylor Lautner comments about ex Taylor Swift. Taylor Lautner dated Taylor Swift for a few months in 2009. On their podcast The Squeeze, Lautner's wife Tay Dome asked which moment in his life he would choose to go back to if he could. Lautner recalled the 2009 VMAs where Kanye West interrupted Taylor Swift and the look on Swift's face. Probably the 2009 VMAs when I presented the award to Taylor and was unaware that the Kanye thing was not a skit. I presented the award to her, so I have the award. I took five steps back and was standing five feet behind her. And in the middle of her giving her thank you speech, Kanye jumps up onto the stage. I can barely hear it. I can't see them, I'm just assuming this whole thing was a practiced and rehearsed skit, because why else would Kanye West be jumping on the stage interrupting Taylor Swift? It just didn't make sense. He jumped off. She finished. The second she turned back around and I saw her face for the first time, I was like, oh, that wasn't good. As for how Taylor Lautner's wife felt about his answer, as she noted, I'm deceased. Logan Paul and the UFC strike a big money deal. Logan Paul, the YouTube star, who is also a boxer and professional wrestler, 
recently signed a deal to make Prime Energy the official sports drink of the UFC. Prime is a collaboration between Logan Paul and fellow social media star KSI. We've been humbled by the process of creating a real brand and surpassing some of the biggest beverage companies in the world, a statement read. As underdogs, we always cherish the opportunity to show the world what's possible. Now that we're both fighting for the same team, we truly believe the sky is the limit. Prime Energy and its logo will be seen across the octagon and many other places in the UFC in 2023. Megan Trainer is pregnant again. After teasing a secret on TikTok, the pop star announced that she and her husband Daryl Sabera are expecting their second child. I'm pregnant, she happily stated in a Today Show interview. It was the best surprise. The couple knows the sex of the baby, but said they are saving it for TikTok. Trainer and Sabera welcomed their first child, Riley, in February 2021. Trainer was pregnant at the start of the pandemic and revealed that she was diagnosed with gestational diabetes. Their second child is due this summer. Miley Cyrus's flowers stays at number one. Miley Cyrus's flowers holds the number one spot for the second week in a row on the Billboard Hot 100 as it continues its dominance in both streaming and sales. Flowers, released on Smiley Miley slash Columbia Records, drew 59.8 million streams and sold 65,000 in its second full tracking week. Miley announced that Flowers would be released January 13th, which fans recognized as her ex-husband Liam Hemsworth's birthday. That narrative and interaction on TikTok have helped grow the profile of the song, which ushers in Cyrus's eighth studio album, Endless Summer Vacation, due March 10th. Influencer Molly May Hate had a baby. The former Love Island star sparked speculation she's welcomed her first child, a baby girl, with boxer Tommy Fury over the weekend and hasn't posted on her Instagram in almost a week. Haig's fans are also convinced that they've figured out what her baby's name is. Taking to TikTok and social media sites, fans claim that Molly and Tommy will be calling their baby Bambi. It comes after Tommy hinted he's become a father but refused to answer a question on if his girlfriend Molly has given birth. Mr. Beast gives sight to the blind. Mr. Beast, the YouTube star, helped 1,000 people see again after sponsoring their cataract surgeries. The patients, who were totally blind or near blind, were people who could not afford the surgery. We're curing a thousand people's blindness, says Mr. Beast, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, in his Saturday video. The video featured touching before and after footage of patients seeing with clear vision after their surgery. Beast also gave cash donations and other gifts to some of the participants. Jeff Levinson, an ophthalmologist and surgeon, worked with Donaldson to perform the surgeries. Ed Sheeran returns to social media after turbulent personal life. The Bad Habits hitmaker posted a candid video on Instagram explaining to fans why there's not been a whole lot of fun on his social media over the past couple years and why that's about to change. Hi guys, so I realize I haven't been that engaged in my social media or my fan base online over the last couple of years, and the things that have been posted on this account might have got a bit boring. And I'm sorry. It's my fault. The reason I'm making this video is, just being totally honest, I've had some turbulent things been happening in my personal life, so I just didn't really feel like being online and pretending to be something I'm not when I wasn't feeling like that. Things are looking up and I'm back online so, you know, weird shit is going to start being posted here. Sharon ends the video by joking, I've made this video like 50 fucking times, I'm not making another one. While Sheeran doesn't specify exactly what the turbulent things he's experienced have included, he did become a dad for a second time in May 2022. He also has a history of taking needed breaks from social media. Harry Styles eyed for a Las Vegas residency. The hitmaker is in demand to perform at the new Las Vegas venue, the MSG Sphere, for around $50 million. Styles is currently in the middle of his love on tour, which ends in July. After that is when he would perform a series of shows at the MSG Sphere in 2024. It's already been confirmed that U2 will open the venue, which has a capacity of 17,500, this fall. 
It's also rumored that the former One Direction singer's management team has invested in the venue. Taylor Swift drops Era's merch collection ahead of her tour. Taylor Swift unveiled her latest merchandise collection in honor of all 10 of her album Eras. The Eras drop includes sweatshirts, t-shirts, hoodies, and crewnecks emblazoned with the superstar's name and illustrated versions of her from every album cycle from her 2006 self-titled debut and 2008's Fearless to 2020 sister albums Evermore and Folklore and her latest studio set featuring Antihero and Bejeweled. The merch for Taylor's upcoming The Eras Tour comes days after the 11-time Grammy winner premiered the music video for her latest Midnight single, Lavender Haze. Zendaya as Spider-Woman? Spider-Man comic writer pitched Zendaya as Spider-Woman in the Spider-Verse, and let's just say, it did not go well. Dan Slott's time writing for Marvel Comics goes back to 1991, and he's memorably behind a ton of issues of Amazing Spider-Man and the Superior Spider-Man series. Slot recently took to Twitter to share that he had an idea to implement Zendaya into his Spider-Man issues. Although the writer didn't expand on what his idea for Zendaya specifically was, he shared that he felt it would have sold a bazillion copies and would have been amazing. However, when he went to bring the idea forward, he was told there was no way it was happening and to not even ask. According to the Marvel writer, the publisher wasn't willing to entertain the idea of Zendaya joining the Spider-Verse. Also noted, Slot had shared on social media that he had pitched for Jedi Spider, Spider Mickey and Spider-Met to join the Marvel Comics world and was rejected each time as well. <laughs>